Queen Mary of Denmark and her spouse, King Frederick, once again showcased their love and affection during the second day of their state visit to Sweden. Queen Mary looked elegant in a ruby dress with long sleeves as she arrived for lunch at Stockholm City Hall alongside King Carl Gustaf and Queen Sylvia of Sweden. King Frederick tenderly kissed his wife on the cheek upon their arrival for lunch, while she placed her gentle and affectionate hand on his arm. Their romantic relationship seemed to harken back to earlier times, as their 23-year romance, often dubbed a real-life fairy tale, began when they met in a Sydney pub. The parents of Crown Prince Christian and Princess Isabella continued to smile at each other during the tactile demonstration, displaying their evident love and devotion to one another. Finally, the recent walks with King Carl Gustaf and Queen Sylvia paint the picture we've been waiting for since Frederick ascended the throne. The couple once again appears in high spirits and demonstrates their affection. On Tuesday morning, the royal plans diverged, with Carl Gustaf and Frederick visiting the Berga naval station near Stockholm, while their wives, Sylvia and Mary, explored Prince Eugen's Waldemar Sadar collection. They then reunited at the city hall for lunch, where Princess Victoria, accompanied by her husband, Daniel, and Charles Philip with Sophia, were also present. This provided another opportunity to enjoy the magnificent aunts showcased during this state trip with two clear protagonists, Mary and Victoria. Both opted for strong colors on this second day, the Danish queen in red and the Swedish heiress in fuchsia, starting with Mary of Denmark, who once again showcased her wardrobe as she has done since the beginning of the visit. Mary makes a concerted effort to give a second life to her existing clothing, and she did so with a very elegant carmine-colored dress by Raquel Diniz. This silk midi dress, named Harmony, featured long voluminous sleeves with highlighted cuffs, a keyhole neckline, and a bow belt. Mary first wore this dress in August 2018, previously worn by another Scandinavian queen, Princess Met Merit. Since its debut, the Australian has worn it five times, making it one of her favorite styles. This time, in Stockholm, she paired it, as we've already mentioned, with Gianvito Rossi suede shoes, also in red, with heels over 10 centimeters. It's to complement the red color, the Danish queen added camel-colored accessories to her ensemble, notably a new leather bag from Anja Heinmarch, model Mortimer, and a shawl to protect herself from the low Scandinavian temperatures. Mary also wore gold flower-shaped earrings with diamonds from Ole Lingard, which matched the brooch pinned to her dress. As for Victoria, the princess revived a pink dress she wore last year for a special occasion, which marked its first anniversary, a reception hosted by Carl I at Buckingham Palace on the occasion of his coronation. This Roland Murray dress features amazing drapery. The heiress, like Mary, wore John Vito Rossi nude-colored high-heeled shoes and a matching clutch. Yellow gold earrings completed her ensemble. The state visit to Sweden came to an end, and King Frederick and Queen Mary have just bid farewell to the Swedish royal family. This occurred at an official farewell at the royal palace, where King Carl Gustaf and his family waved goodbye as black cars with the royal couple departed from the palace square. However, not all family members stayed and waved goodbye. It was surprising that Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel were suddenly nowhere to be seen. Otherwise, they stood there as King Frederick and Queen Mary got into the car. It turns out that the royal disappearances were related to the fact that Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel also got into cars to follow the royal couple to the airport. The Crown Princess and her husband and the royal couple traveled in two cars. While King Frederick and Crown Princess Victoria traveled together, Prince Daniel joined Queen Mary in another car. In conclusion, Queen Mary and King Frederick of Denmark have once again demonstrated their deep affection and unity during their state visit to Sweden. Their elegant presence, tender gestures, and unwavering devotion to each other were evident throughout the trip, reaffirming their enduring romance over the past 23 years. As the visit came to a close, the royal couple bid farewell to the Swedish royal family, leaving a lasting impression of camaraderie and goodwill between the neighboring monarchies. 
with both Queen Mary and Crown Princess Victoria captivating audiences with their impeccable style and grace, the state visit served as a testament to the strong bond shared between Denmark and Sweden.